I broke my leg a few years ago and, and so I had to retire from my work and um, I started doing genealogy full time because I couldn't get around very well. Um, and so I'm putting five to eight hours in a day. And um, my kids got me a subscription to Ancestry. So I'm utilizing Ancestry to gather the documents and, and to make like my blueprint tree so I can do all my research. And then I take that information and put it into family search. And so uh, I'm, I'm doing my research in Ancestry and a lady sends me a little message in Ancestry and says, hey, I think we might be cousins. And so um, I, I e emailed her back and we started sharing information and she told me that um, where she lived and uh, it happened to be out in Utah and we were going to be traveling out there to see some of our children and um, I made plans with her, unbeknownst to my husband, that um, uh, we would stop and see her. And so um, as we're driving down the road, I said to him, remember me telling you about this cousin that I met online? And he goes, yeah, and he goes, well, she just lives right up the road here. And he's like, what? I said, yeah, turn here. And so he turns and he's like, what, where are we going? I said, well, she's kind of expecting us for lunch. Lunch? And I said, yeah, we're, um, we're, we're gonna go meet her and, and see what she has to say. He goes, I don't know this person, I'm not going to her house. I'm like, she's your cousin, we'll be fine. So we get to her house and knock on the door. My husband's just like, oh, Debbie, I don't, I can't believe you're dragging me to this, you know. So he's just dragging his heels in the whole way, you know. And, and we get to the door and knock and this little white haired lady, she's, you know, pretty short, she comes to the door and welcomes us with open arms. And, and uh, we come into her home and we're sitting there talking and I brought my genealogy and showed it to her and she's like, oh my goodness, you are the people, you are the right ones. And so she said, just a minute. She gets up and she runs to the back of the house. She comes back with this box and uh, it was a shoe box and it was, uh, um, sorry, she opens it up and it's filled with photos and she said when my mother died 40 years ago this box was in the closet in her house and I just didn't have the heart to throw these photos out and she turns to my husband and she said do you think you could look through these and see if you know you recognize anyone and we're like okay so he takes them out and he goes oh my goodness that's my dad and then and then he goes that's my grandpa, and he pulls out another one. This is my aunt and my uncle, and he was able to identify all kinds of people. So I know that, you know, nothing happens for coincidence. I believe everything happens for a reason and a purpose. And making that connection uh, online in a, in a program that connected me with an ancestor that helped us to to you know meet that person at, you know per, in person and then and then go through the photos and identify the photos that would have been lost nobody would have ever known who they were and and save those for posterity it, it, it proves to me that you know the Lord's hands in everything and and uh, I, I just, I'm so grateful for the church and for the, the program that we have to, that uses uh, these documents and everything to show who our family is so we can document it and get to know them a little better and put their pictures in there so they come to life for us and write the stories down so that, you know, it fleshes those, those people out and, and makes them real to our children and our grandchildren so we can pass these down and pass these stories on so that we have them forever.